Okay, straight into it. So the first thing we're gonna do is remove your cap. Flat screwdriver, do it. Then loosen the bolts on your wheel. Um, it's best to do it on the car so it doesn't rock off the jack. Just break the tightness of it and then loosen and jack it up and then you can loosen it properly. Now I'm using my impact wrench, which is worth its weight in gold. Excellent little thing, but you will just do it by hand, not a problem. Once you've removed your wheel for safety aspects, slip it underneath just where the uh, the sill is. Give the rotor a little knock because it's rusted and everything sealed under there. And loosen that locating screw. It's pretty simple. You're lucky if it comes out like that, and I was lucky. Once you've got it off, um, you've got to loosen the nuts behind the caliper. Now these are the securing bolts. You're gonna need, I think, a socket of 13. And I think it's a 16 mil spanner. So just work it together, loosen it up until it comes loose. You can see what I'm doing right here. When it's loose enough, use your hand tight and just use your hand to loosen it. Do the same with the bottom locator. Release it. Um, it's all very simple stuff. You know, it's probably gonna be a little bit tricky laying down, but it should be alright. Once it's loose, you can take it out of your hand and then just pull the caliper off. It might want to fight a little bit because the, the the piston has compressed it. So just give it use a screwdriver. Then it's really simple. Knock off these brake pads, both sides. See how they're just coming off there. Then give it another little knock and that should just release it. You can see that this rotor is in a bad state. It definitely needed changing. It wasn't a moment too soon. Okay, what have we got next? Yep, on your new disc, give it a clean, clean it with some brake fluid because it comes with a, a coating on it. Now, use a wire brush or some sort of abrasive to clean the shims and all the contact areas because you want that to be as clean as possible. You don't want to have it sticking there or squeaking squeak there. Once you've done that, you can slip the rotor in. Just simple as that. Look at that. That was easy. Okay, use some anti-seal on the locating screw because you may have to take it off again one day and you want it to be easy to come off. Use the same anti-seize um, anti grease on the locating areas, on the touching areas, friction areas. Now you've got to squeeze the piston and you can either use this um, monkey wrench to, to, to squeeze it in, which, which works. It's a little bit slow, but it, it, you know, just, just persevere. Or if you've got a brake tool, you can use this. I used a brake tool, I found it better. It added a bit more pressure to it and I didn't have to balance it so much. Once your piston's in, grease up your pads. Maybe I've greased it up a bit too much. But once again, I've greased up all the contact areas. You know, because I don't want to have problems next time I go to grabbing it out and I don't want it to have problems when it goes back on. Now, fitting it back together is all pretty simple. You just squeeze it on until it gets you know, you try and get it in position, you work it in position, look at your work, second guess, look at it, look at it again. And once you've got it in position, you just squeeze it in. Now, once it's in position, you just push it in a little bit more and uh, start to screw in the locating screws in. Now, just, just not too hard, but you just get it in so you know it's in position and it's not under too much pressure, the pressure will come later. Then it's just basically the reverse of what we did before, first time round, where we're just, you know, tightening up, opposite way, hold it with the spanner and, and tighten up with the ratchet. Do both top and bottom, make sure they're secure, this is brake, and you don't want to have no issue with it, so, you know, do it properly. Much the same thing with the top, there's nothing really too much that's really complicated about this, it's quite a simple procedure. You can do it after seeing this, it's, it's, it's not difficult at all. But yeah, but make sure everything's tight. At least slip and broke my knuckles there. Check it's all firm. And then put your wheel back on. That's how simple it is. Remember, just tighten it up, tighten it up on the floor because you don't want it to fall off the jack. And that's it all done. Hope that helps. Comment, rate, subscribe. 
Join my vids. Thank you for watching.